the church out there behind me it would be very difficult to forget about one this is a very very beautiful church orthodox church beautiful beautiful orthodox church a russian church obviously and you know what i was thinking right now you know what i was saying to myself right now i was saying to myself what a damage this parasite does to the russia i'm talking of course about vladimir putin i mean such a beautiful cultural thing such a beautiful cultural stuff and i'm thinking about i was thinking about about this whole thing and you know in order for people to see this thing here and appreciate diversity beautiful diversity culture like this they'll get a taste of uh, they'll rather think about vladimir putin instead which really gives you leaves you with the worst taste in your mouth at least it does to me uh, this is really really bad very bad i feel very sad about it i have an orthodox cross here too Let's see there is two crosses one is orthodox and i was thinking i was saying to myself boy 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 why this guy is still there at all Okay, this is recorded the next day uh, in the library in Sgersh where I am not really sure what I even came for. Uh, there are about three hours left here for the library to stay open. They screw me up day here, the people that work here. Uh, I'm going to put it this way. It's a laughter, it's a derision for something they have created. It's a disrespect from the people that supposedly are related to families that are family people. And this alone, what I stated now, relates to somehow elderly people that I have mentioned on my new site. It would be in both libraries. It would be like people would be coming in uh, that will be deciding on Tuesday what is it going to be and this and that. Who is going to be deciding about what? I mean, this is just a bullying. It's going to be a meeting from people from Zgersh, from Grotniki and so on. In both libraries I have audio recorded this stuff. It's a bullying. Uh, most likely related to something that's got nothing to do with me. But under MK Ultra scenario, they have decided that on the same day that when I would have a meeting with the police in Zgersh, they would be held another meeting about me and stuff like this, about my conduct and so on. Uh, whether on how to see me as and proceed with the case with. Uh, basically from the people that most likely this is not even the meeting that might be held most likely 99% I would say it's got nothing to do with me. It's got to do everything with other stuff because this is pretty much how they play all along. But they use several bullies that will come inside of the libraries and will display behavior like it is related to you and especially because this is what they brainwashed under MK Ultra. So it's just yet another provocation on provocation. Last night I got the provocation that related itself to deleting the videos at 9 o'clock p.m. 9 p.m. about two hours of videos something like this appeared and it's really not helpful especially when you go over six hour tape which i did yesterday so you know exactly where you stand with what issues what to say what not and then somebody goes and somebody from belarus this is related to the belarus as you're about to see next goes and deletes you like two hours of recordings and stuff like one hour prior to what should be asleep because the next day you go into Zgersh. And then you lose another hour, yet 
basically two hours trying to retrieve files, then you pop up here just to be basically the reason for the shit that you have created and so on. This is not very nice. Uh, it's something that made me compare the whole situation to 97, 98, when the situation with the Poland started in 98. Whether this thing, this whole thing is even worth it, the effort, is it even worth it, the peace, the whole thing here in Poland? Is it, is it worth it for me to, to invest any time in this whole thing in respect to Poland? Today, earlier, I already made a decision that is not worth it dying, the whole thing. But somehow came to conclusion that I will proceed with one for the sake of the people that helped me out on the streets, for the sake of the people that came forward on the market, tried to help me out, tried to go forward with this thing, tried to do something good. In other words, real family people, real people, not evil that is trying to stop this whole thing. So, what I am going to do right now, I am going to proceed here from minute 22 by repeating uh, the audio recording which was presenting in the video number one. Uh, on this audio recording, I'm telling you, I am not allowed to what I do here right now to do inside of the library. Um, they had a lot of problems with, even if you talk quietly, whatever. They can talk, they can do whatever, it doesn't matter. It, do, it really doesn't matter. It's not essential anymore to even discuss these issues. Bizarre. Lady that I'm about to repeat to you, the audio, it's like this. In 2010, in 2013, she involved herself in this MK Ultra procedure wanted to help as much as possible at least at minimum if she was hmm, i don't think she was a wife of the owner if i can recall this properly she was employee in the store across the street she says something across the street but this is what the situation was then somehow in 2015 i am not really sure what exactly happened but i think that store went bankrupt or whatever the store moved, not the same store, it was a different store, it was a different kind of merchandise. But the lady I'm talking to moved to this store because it was either the owner that plays the store here, or she, I don't know, she might have been a wife of the owner or whatever, which I don't really think so. I think that she was just employee. Um, say whatever you want she have been in the street for a very long time i can tell you that where is she wife of the owner owner wife uh, or employee i i cannot really say with a certainty this is all i can say uh, she gives me the green light for 2015 and uh, that's where we go that's where we continue from there I asked for 2015, but it pushed too hard to 2013, it doesn't happen. What is the problem here? The problem here is the lady that I have already explained. This is the lady who worked in the same street, got involved in this thing, wanted to help, desperately wanted to help, but it was so much, I was brought, evidently I was brought to in 2015 back to the store time and again enough for me to uh, imprint in my idea that she was here in 2013 unless of course she was in 2013 this is a story i remember very well she had like this like a sign like this that would be black she does have the same sign with Arabic letters, the setting inside of the store, the same as it was, rugs the same. Uh, and then some kind of memorabilia also in 
I don't think it was in Hebrew. Might have been, I do not know. But I think it was, she is in Arabic. Stuff that you would not forget. Stuff is like decorative stuff. Uh, and somehow I made, I, I, at least she's saying that she was not in uh, 2013 in that store. She's, she says she was in 2015. Again, I gave my witnessing as far as I could go. I do not alter this tape, anything that would change anything in respect to, um, you know, that I would modify, uh, anything that I would modify in respect to, anything that I would modify in respect to, if the answers were incorrect or anything like this. I, I would not do this stuff like this. I don't do I go the whole thing. In the end, I'm going to eventually play the whole tape. I continue to the next location here. Let's just go. Okay, this is... I'm not sure was I there already in that... Okay, this is the store with the US clothing. I think I already did this. She gives me a green light. Actually, I go to the Target. Uh, store was open in 2014. She tells me in front of the other employee, store was open in 2014.
I'm going to wait for them to end talking because it's, it's, it's strange that I disturb these people, but these people are, I think, disturbed, to be honest with you. And I'm not inside. I'm outside here. I don't get it. Let's do it again. Because I'm going to pause here, folks. This is so disturbing that you have no idea. Uh, I was the one, I was told on the MK Ultra that I would be disturbing element in this environment, in this clean, beautiful environment. Uh, it doesn't look like. Even that I have to pull extreme stuff together to get this thing done here. I go straight to the date of the opening, it's 2013, next one. This is another store, this one. I'm not skipping anything. I, I am going to post the whole, the, the whole tape at the end, six hour tape, unedited, the whole thing it's going to be. I just am trying to move.
from store to store faster because it took a long time inside of the stores with the used clothing and I did not purify enough the conversation between me and sales ladies enough for me to that should be I think here I'm going to repeat this thing again here so you can hear um, One more time. Okay. I don't know, she said 15, 16 let. This is my mistake. It's not mistake because I hit the 100%, I asked for 2013, I went all the way 2013, she said, yes, uh, we are here already for 16 years, the problem here is that this is the older store we used to come all the time, and because of intimidation, because of all kinds of stuff that went on today, not only because of, not only because of the lumbar, you're going to hear in continuation what went on. I have reduced my expectations and I did not ask, you know, for year 2008 and so on, stuff like that. So that costs me because I didn't go all the way. Uh, and we used to come to this store on a regular basis. So these are two stores, one opened in 2013. They gave me a green light, 100%. And the second store, however, which was already open for 16 years, but they also gave me a green light uh, for 2013. So these are all hits. Everything here are hits. Now we're going to continue to really interesting stuff. This stuff concerns uh, abduction, yet another MK Ultra torture. However, that took place during my filing for political protection for political asylum in Belarus during 2017, when. Hmm, <laughs> um, Belarus and Polish governments brought me to Poland you know you don't get through the border just like this and they got me through the, on MKUltra for a very extended amount of time it would be really stupidish since Russians Belarusians collaborated I should say Poles collaborated with Belarusians, Russians, it would be kind of a stupid, you know, for me to use the brainwash I was brainwashed with under MK Ultra on how the whole thing is just a cooperation between the Russians and between the Germans in front of the little store. Yeah, we're gonna get to that degree too. Uh, it's BS, excuse me, the same one as it happened yesterday. Uh, you don't go inside of the Poland just like this without knowledge of the Polish authorities. Things this just don't happen like that, okay? Uh, in your dreams only. Uh, this, when things get really interesting, uh, this is when things get really intense. This is actually, by the way, a proof that, hmm, what can I say? Uh, about the stuff that I have stated and I don't know for whom this stuff is worse is it worse for the Belarus or for the Poland but Poland regarded my case like not giving me the right to apply in Poland as a Schengen related case as a border safe place area where Slovenia is part of just as Poland uh, and therefore as such I would not have the right to 
uh, apply in such a place for political protection. European Union, attention to this issue. Attention to this issue because Poland as a Schengen state is violating the Schengen rules as well. Not only the human rights laws, which apply foremost to the United Nations, because within the European Union we do have that evil law that disallows practically people that are members, uh, citizens of uh, European Union states to apply for political protection within the European Union, basically on territory of another European Union state. But we have here also severe violations of Schengen rules. Slovenia and Poland have both violated European Union constitution, Schengen rules of obviously United Nations uh, laws, treaties and so on. Uh, and so this right here, this is actually audio recorded proof, video recorded and audio recorded proof about that type of violation. As much as one can give uh, definitely a definite um, you know, um, witnessing, credible witnessing, it's available for you right here, right now for you to see it. Enjoy this one. Kids that were here in 2017, uh, these are the people that would come in my face. It was other people too. Uh, they would literally come in my face and they would threaten me. Don't even come anywhere close here. Don't even think about stuff like this. Don't even approach to this construction site. So therefore, everything Americans tried to help me in 2015, uh, they had also Polish people at that time at the construction. As soon as the Russians find out about this thing, uh, they make their own order. Uh, that's why I don't like I don't like Warsaw today. I don't like Duda. I don't like Morawiecki because you know I can see through the net of lies. I can see exactly where the whole thing is going. Uh, I see where the whole thing is going. I see how far the whole thing have gone. Uh, you can tell whatever you want to tell somebody, but uh, there's no way you're going to say that the Polish government didn't know about things uh, that happened for so many years repeatedly inside of the Poland alone. There's no way for you to, you know, that Belarusians just drive in and out of Poland uh, basically unnoticed and do whatever the hell they want to do and stuff like that. It doesn't work like this. Um, it's just too many no, things. So I did hit. I did hit with exact uh, details. I pointed out. I pointed out. 2015, as construction commenced, uh, I did absolutely everything, and so there's not going to be no mistakes about that stuff. And as you have seen, the construction look, you would not say this is like at least four years old.
so like I have stated and this is exactly the tape um, prior to this is exactly where the whole thing stopped and it stopped with the Belarus roommate who was involved in MK Ultra. We have two Belaruskis. In Denmark we have three. There was a third individual also was involved in MK Ultra Belarus. All three popped up inside of the Polish immigration system. Valerio downstairs on the first floor, this one on the same floor with me in the same room had the ability to actually, I'm not going to say intercept my video recording, but when it come to the Belarus issue on the construction site, individual would go and he would literally delete me two hours of video recordings. Sucks. See, this is the stuff. This is why I felt this way, the way I felt today. So you can hear me. This is where I made a mistake, not in 2017, the Polish. Okay, this is the stuff, this is a good stuff. This is a really good stuff that no way can you say I was not here. See those containers right there? American brought me right there to those containers. In 2015. 100%. Not 2017, but 2015. In 2017, Belaruskis brought me to this location. From Belarus, but I can tell you that in 2017, I myself, I was in Belarus. I have filed for political asylum. And this is a problem. Whether you're inside of a mental hospital or in the... Uh, this is exactly why. I already have explained exactly what they do. They use... I'm still on the construction site. In a little bit, I'm going to show you a video recording so you can see it. You can hear the sirens. You can see all kinds of stuff going on. They don't like that. They know I am on a construction site. They know exactly what I'm doing. Folks, this kind of stuff, this is a joke. See, 2015, I'm talking on the camera. I might not be talking on the camera, I might be in this hardware recorder here as I walk to the construction site. This is what European Union institutions have to look very, very closely at for this time here. If you want safe borders, if you want Schengen, uh, then you have to exercise one only not on the other paper. If you want European Union is law-abiding union, uh, then you're going to have to exercise, uh, you know, those, you're going to have to enforce those uh, regulations against uh, member violating states, so that can be real.
Okay, uh, this is gentleman with the dog came he was right there and uh, right next to the construction site and I asked him about uh, what exactly is going on here I said I was here in 2015 and, and it looks exactly the same as it was in 2015 and the gentleman says exactly nothing ever changed since 2015 European Union may want to look into the Schengen rules and check that with the Poland uh, United Nations is going to have to look into uh, UN rules uh, and uh, as I have stated uh, Poland and Slovenia have both violated uh, and Schengen rules and European Union rules and, and all the human rights treaties laws regulations and everything somebody's going to have to enforce this uh, Poland seems is not eager to do so, but somebody's going to have to take charge of this thing. This is actually a physical proof, physical audio, video recorded proof as much as one witness can give one about abduction, about MKUltra torture that con even concerns, well, political protection case in Belarus during 2017. All right, I have just had a, hey, we want to call this a lunch. Let me see if I can show you some eggs here in the floor. But this was the lunch for me, a little bit bread. I hope you can see those eggs right there. It's my backpack right there. And this is what I am. And all right, you see this thing here. It is locked here. Whatever that you see, you see it's like new. Huh? It's like new, the whole thing is like new and it's actually on this side it's it's clean. It's really not too messy. Alright? It's really not too messy. Look. See this here? See this thing here? Looks like new, huh? Looks new. Looks new. Not too messy at all, quite clean. Really, seriously, if you would compare this to other location locations you would be amazed all right you see this it's like a construction area now I'm gonna make another crazy statement okay let me see if you can see what I see at least behind me there's a church right there see it I'm not saying that the church was there in 2015 this is not what I'm saying what I'm saying is that with American staff member, when I was here under MK Ultra, we stopped at this exact location right here, exactly here, and he had a meal, he ate. And I remember this. See? If you see this stuff here, it's like new. Look at that. See this? This boat here, this what you see here, feels like new. Everything feels like new. Now the thing is that this thing here is new. I'm not saying that this is not new, but this here, this, you see this, this, this stuff is not new. The church behind me is an Orthodox church and this is a lot how I remember. And I also remember him that the proof like this, statement like this is actually going to get me a lot, a lot of credits. Because it would be very few people that would actually believe that something like this, now it's 2019 is it's march 2019 is at least four years old but where we are right now this construction area this is at least four years old 
if not actually it dates all the way to 2013 even this so you know he said go to that direction right there to get to find out to ask somebody now let's go and i'm gonna do that because i'm heading that way anyways toward the center of the city it's about almost three o'clock right now and the businesses in this area are closed but in the center of the city since it's saturday it still might be open here and there i gotta buy myself uh i get a little used phone something that people can call me at nothing ever changed other than sirens stopped and the gentleman uh who was here a local from here told me that this has been like this already for the last four years nothing ever changed this is exactly what i have stated in 2015 this thing already looked exactly as i have explained so this is a pretty good one if the others are not good and they are 100 percent now there is something else about all this stuff there was a setup over there in that street and since my stuff is so credible i have to go forward and i have to say the gentleman uh, who greeted me over there there also it was another business that was open in 2015 clearly i know uh that's exactly where we st stood right there and that's what i'm gonna make claim about another business um i might actually go back to that st same street i don't know another occasion or whatever it is that gentleman was a long time resident over there i can tell you that too i recognized him um the way i see it is he 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 wanted to help me out because even even if you try to intimidate me whatever you can't because it's it's so clear to me that i see everything about what went on that you really cannot do it so with my proofs i still go through and the more stuff like this you do it does not really even hurt so i don't even see that in, in a negative light so i have totally that side street right there i have totally recognized that lady right there i think she she is i don't know for how many years there already um unless they did some kind of a setup something like this but nah uh that much about this one sirens are working well today boy sounds like <laughs> all the time is what i hear this Pretty busy city today, Saturday it is.